The Wind Feline Foundation was founded in 1968 with the goal of improving the lives of all our cats through research. Research into, well, all sorts of amazing things. Did you know, for example, that dry eyes is a big issue for our cats? You and I can go and put in some eye drops and we just go about our day. But think about how hard it would be for an animal who relies heavily on their eyesight. Dr. David Maggs is a veterinary ophthalmologist at the University of California, Davis, and he's doing some fascinating research. I think as humans, we're well aware of what dry eye feels. You're, many of us suffer from dry eye, but other people can sense that just at the end of a hard day working at the computer, or simply by holding your eyelids open for just a very short period of time, within seconds, you'll feel that feeling of dryness. Very uncomfortable. Cats will present with signs very similar to that. That is, uh, they'll tell their owners by a squinting or strangely via discharge. If you think about it, a cat that has trouble with vision might not have as much fun playing or would feel too frustrated to jump to high places. It really is a quality of life issue for our cats. And Dr. Mag says the issue is in fact more prominent in female cats. Look, they're all affected. Our study so far shows that the tear film, and particularly the water part, the aqueous part of the tear film, may be a little um, higher in male cats than in female cats. And actually, this is supported by the human literature. The um, uh, dry eye is more common in women, and particularly in postmenopausal women. And so uh, this finding in male cats seems to suggest that maybe cats are just little humans after all. Dr. Mag says he's going to do his best to get help for all our feline friends. The goal is easily stated. Uh, we're we're uh, going to establish what the normal uh, values are for five brand new diagnostic tests. Some of them have been used before in cats. All of them have been used before in humans. And we're just going to find out what the values are for normal cats. This way we can get a better feel for what the normal cat's tear film should be. We can then take that and say, hey, I wonder if this cat's tear film is abnormal in those cases brought to us by owners who are worried. Thanks to the efforts of the Wind Feline Foundation, help is on its way. Learn more at windfelinefoundation.org.